everyone, I'm back to bring you guys a brand new episode installment of Jack and Dexter and the Precursor Legacy, and it's going to be brought to you guys by GameAnyone.com. Okay, if you look at the last episode, I finished up Sentinel Beach, and if you look at the episode before that, I finished up the Forbidden Jungle, well, almost, but I finished up the Forbidden Jungle last episode, and now here I am at Misty Island, after finally doing the fisherman's little favor, and now it's time to clean house. So I'll just start off by grabbing the Precursor Orbs, because why not, people? I mean, they're right here. Well, the first set of Precursor Orbs. There's more sets of Precursor Orbs around here. I just gotta look around. Okay, now we're dealing with a new enemy here. So to take this enemy out, you just want to hit him not like that. You want to hit him that way. And again, yeah, this enemy takes two tits in order to finish it off. Hey, I see the sculptor's news. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this muse. And of course, like every wild animal, well, I wouldn't call it a wild, it technically it is a domestic animal. In the Jack and Dexter world, I'm assuming, since he is this guy's pet, is gonna run away, thinking that it's probably wants some fun while we're playing around. Don't you love pets, everyone? Especially when they decide to go ahead and use the bathroom inside your home. And you gotta pick up their droppings. <laughs> I'm just kidding, let's move on. Oh no, you are not going anywhere. Back away from me. Crap, why did I decide to actually do that? Let me grab this size muse and I'll go ahead and I'll focus on getting the rest of the precursor awards. Gotcha! <laughs> ah, I thought this was actually gonna last a little bit longer. Ouch. Okay, dick move by Dexter there, but uh, I got the muse finally. All I have to do is return back home and give it to the guy. And then I'll get a parasol from him. Of course, as we all should expect by now. It's basically like this. Do favors, get power cells. Trade in orbs, get power cells. And repeat. Pretty much this game in a nutshell. When it comes to getting power cells. So, let's grab these orbs over here. Okay, and I see some orbs up over there. It's, and I see a power cell, actually. Yeah, a power cell's over there. Oh, you, you guys can see it, right? I wonder how I'm going to be getting that one. I mean, I think we all know how we're going to get that one. Or I'm going to get that one. I mean, the guys are just probably watching this because of my great commentary. Even though you already played the game numerous times. Check these treasure chests. Okay, some green eco as expected. I could use a green eco right now. I did took damage. Stupidly, might I add. So let's go over here now. And I see blue eco here too. Okay, expect it. Because I don't think we'll make it back. Yeah, I have no intention of falling into the mix, De Dexter. Okay, so I see a few more new enemies around here. I just gotta be a little bit more careful, that's all. And of course, I still see the same enemies as on the beach. And I cannot believe I actually fell for something like that. Wow, that was actually stupid of me. <laughs> oh, I should have expected that. Alright, let's continue on here. Oh no, you're not gonna gang up on me. I should have seen that coming too. It even looked like it was uh, gonna fall once you land on it or stepped on it. I thought that I could have been able to jump in time. Good. Not gonna fall for that again. That'd be really embarrassing if that were to happen. If a grown adult who's seen the trap coming still falls into the trap. Okay, so I got my second of seven scout flies. Scratch that, make that free of seven scout flies. You know, I'm really enjoying how they're placed together like this. And I see a lot of other things over here too, including what looks to be aerial machines, like balloons and whatnot being used. Okay. And I see more precursor orbs over that way, so I'll just go ahead and grab them. And I see, uh, what's it? Whoa, whoa, okay. I got, I got lucky there. Can I get, can I please get up? Let me just get, can I get myself back up here? Oh, right, well, let me look down here for a minute. Hold on, maybe I'll find some precursor orbs. Because you know how the developer just love to hit precursor orbs. You know how much these guys become a real pain in the ass if you don't deal with them. Okay, I see more over here. I'm not even going to bother dealing with the 
you know, the, the platforms that are gonna easily fall down. Okay, I see another power cell over there. And it looks like there doesn't seem to be a way to get to it. I'm certainly not gonna be able to swim over there because next thing I need to do is deal with precursor sharks. Precursor sharks can kick the can kiss my ass. I said it! I just don't like precursor sharks. And I know some of you guys might come down on me for being an adult and still being scared of precursor sharks that are in a video game meant for, well, teenagers or kids. But, uh, hey, it just, uh, gets me, gets me a little bit, uh, scared. There, I said it. I'm human, people, don't judge me. But anyway. Uh, I think I have an idea. Now, I got, now, I used to see here. Uh, I'm trying to come up with a plan. I don't want to fall. Ooh, I gotta be careful here. So, I'm trying to see if I can find any more blue eco around so I can use that to my upper hand. Okay, good. That should be enough. So I'll just head over here. Kick this guy just because I can. And then I'll activate this precursor. No. Okay, good. I'll just wait for it to come back. There's no real rush. Okay, good. You know, it'd be nice to have some guardrails on this thing. Then again, it'd probably be a lot more hard to get on it. There we go. We got the first power cell of the episode. I don't want to make a bit of a bet on how many power cells I can get in this episode, people. I'm thinking five. Let's say I try to get five power cells this episode. I'm feeling like getting five power cells, honestly. Let's go over here and I'll ignore that thing. All right, everyone, it's time to show you guys something new, and it's Red Ego. What does Red Ego do? What uh, Dexter just said, if you heard him, but I'm kind of feeling you guys didn't hear, so I'll just say it. Red Ego basically makes your attacks a hell of a lot stronger. So basically, being able to KO these guys in just one hit. Or taking out uh, these bones real easily. So let's go through here. All right, let's go for the precursor door. You know, I'm questioning how these guys are able to get through here. You remember what happened the last time we were here? Yeah, you turn into the little scene right ambush, there. Jack. It's an ambush! Oh, gee, an ambush! Oh no, what can I ever do? Oh, I'm certainly not going to try to fight back. <laughs> hey, hey, look. It's like we're ah, oh, damn it. Well, that's what I get for trying to be a smart ass. Really teary at the funeral. Like, how am I gonna get changed back now? I don't know. Um, uh, something. Well, let's try that again. Yeah. So looks like there's an ambush going on here, and you gotta take out all of these guys in order to move on. So what you want to do is you just want to make sure that you keep your distance between these guys. Take them out one at a time. You know, the work. Don't try to rush it. Or you could just go ahead and use the red eagle on it. There's always that. <laughs> it's like we're all playing follow the leader. Look at this. All these guys just trying to get me. But instead it looks like they're actually following me. Isn't this cute? Seriously, look at all this. How many of these guys are there, actually? Uh, I'm trying to count. I can't tell. I'm going to make a guess and say... I'm going to make a guess and say there's eight of them. Or nine. I'm going to make a guess say there's nine. God, I just love that spin move. Seriously. I'm in love with this damn move. And I'm starting to be in love with this red eco. I really do enjoy Super Strength in video games. I don't know what you're trying to accomplish. Okay, now that that ambush is done, I guess I can finally go up here now and grab the precursor orbs. Yeah, I can see why. I think this is where you fell into the dark eco pit, Dexter. I'll try to not get you in there again, okay? And I'll grab this power cell here. Oh, and I've also earned a trophy, tonight's featured event. Okay, let me have a look around here. I see scout fly I see a scout fly over there. 
and I see a bunch of what looks like barrels going downhill. Gee, I wonder if I have to jump over them. Like how we had to do it in numerous platform games. But anyway, uh, let's see here. Let's get out of this place. There's no real other reason to go stay in this place. Well, not right now. I will have to come back. And I got to be careful because there's a lot of big guys here. Holy crap, I actually haven't seen that happen before. There we go. Good. I rarely use a punch in this game. It's kind of sad, too. It's like I'm neglecting it. Okay. Let's go through here. Oh, and you can't carry two. You can't, you can't have two uh, Ecos at the same time, just so you know. I mean, you guys probably already know that, but it's just for those that don't. So let's jump up over here. Okay, I'll just use the punch for once. Just so the punch doesn't feel neglected. Bam. <laughs> uh, you know, I gotta... I, I have to admit, you know, when you punch or kick a person in this game, you can really feel it. And it really does have an effect, too. Let's get over here. Uh, can I go down here? I just want to make sure there's no empty, you know ledges or anything like that. So take some more blue Rico. Let's punch this out. And then I see uh, two more guards. I expected this to be honest with you guys. I mean this is you know the at main at villain of the game's place. I mean, we all saw him in the opening cutscene. That or some of you guys might have just automatically just skipped all that part because you probably either A, didn't care about the story, which if that's the case, then shame on you, or B, you already played the game. Which if you did B, I don't blame you one bit. I really don't. Okay, that's all those things there. Okay, I'm making progress here. I'm liking this. Yes, I may have died a few times. And to be fair, it, they were kind of my fault for being stupid. And knowing that I should have known better. But, but still, I'm making progress. I'm just too little green egos away from getting a free taking a free hit so I'll go over here grab the scout fly okay I just need two more and I'm straight so all right I got 50 so I didn't say this earlier and Samus didn't say anything about this uh, when I was doing training but if you have 50 egos and you're already at full I mean yeah, you're already at full health you basically can take a free health, free hit without losing any health. And I grabbed myself another power cell. Okay, good. So I got three power cells this episode already. Boy, they are just coming. Phrasing. Oh, and I earned a trophy, power lunch. Okay. Of course, of course I have to maneuver over these barrels. All right, here goes something. There it goes, keep going, keep going. This is some Ninja Warrior type crap, I swear. You know, Ninja Warrior, that show that was on G4, when G4 was still around and, you know, back when it cared for the gamers like myself and probably you guys that are watching this right now. I miss G4. I really do miss G4. And go. I certainly wasn't going to miss that scout fly. Okay, let's just, okay, go from here. Move up. Grab these precursor orbs. Okay, I almost got 500 precursor orbs in total. There we go. Ah, shit. I hesitated. I hesitated on that one. Okay, let's just grab some more of these little green ecos. Fortunately, I didn't lose any health, honestly. I may have lost that 50 green eco count meter, but still. And now I'll grab this power cell. Bam! to score four power cells all in one episode all under 15 minutes actually I have to admit I'm impressed you two didn't screw up now that the lurkers can't open that silo they can't flood the world with dark eco and cause untold destruction wipe that ridiculous grin off your face Daxter the two of you have plenty to do get on with it yeah, they're ignoring you, Samus, because um, they're not liking your attitude. I mean, no one likes Dexter's attitude, but uh, 
That whole grumpy old man thing you're doing? No one's liking that one bit, okay? So I'll just go ahead and I'll use the cannon to open up these crates like I did at Sentinel Beach. Uh, is that gonna do it? Okay, yeah, that's gonna do it. Alright, perfect. Oh, yeah, I can go back over there and grab the precursor orbs. So let me get out of here. Alright, now, as much as I wanna go ahead and go back and get them. Uh, you know what? Second of all, yeah, let me go get them right now. I just do this. Good. Uh, I didn't die from falling. Wait, can you die from falling in this game? Maybe? I, I think you can. I, I really don't know. I'll probably test it out off camera. Cause seeing it, I don't really fall from that height. You know, if I'm falling from that height, then I'm basically gonna lose a life because you know I'm going inside of a bombless pit. That's the same. And I'm very grateful that the enemies haven't respawned here, so I can go back to where I was without having to worry about much. You know what? I don't really want to go back there because I think I got everything I need over there in that place. I have to do one more thing at Misty Island, and I'm basically done here. Okay, so let me see. Which way do I go now? I need to go... Okay, I need to go uh, to that little thing. You know, that vehicle. That's over there. It's around here somewhere. I just... Uh, yeah, I know. Now it's over here. There you go. I actually went up instead of going this way. Let's go ahead and do that right now. There's the speeder. I don't know if it's actually called a speeder in this game, but I'm gonna call it speeder unless I find until I find out what the uh, actual name is. Okay, so in case you're wondering, uh, the controls for this thing here: you press the X to accelerate as you expect, you press Square to stop or break. You can't really you know, go into reverse as you would expect, and you press either the L1 or R1 to jump. Now. Yeah, let's do that, but first let me just go ahead and grab this these precursor orbs. And why did I choose to jump? I will never know. Okay. We just go over here and get them. Not gonna lie, the speeder controls are 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 decent, okay? Sometimes they feel really great, really good. You know, other times they're like, uh let me just there we go, go, and I should have grabbed that one honestly, but I wasn't close enough to it just get, okay, there we go yeah let's get up here jump it off there we go way to go Jack way to go so it's pretty obvious here but don't go into the water and such because then a precursor shark's gonna get you okay good Got 524 overall let's keep it going now so let's go through here first. There we go. And I believe there's a scout fly in this area too, so I just gotta check around as well. Where exactly is the scout fly? I have no clue, but I got a good feeling it's around here. There it is. Perfect. Got all seven scout flies at Misty Island, so that means that I get a power cell for it. Yay! Of course, I didn't get the precursor orbs over there. No two worries. I'll just jump it. Perfect. Ow, that was just perfect. And I'll try again. This time, there's also a power cell, right, as you can see right over there. I just gotta make sure I time it right and jump in it. Oh, good. I got all the precursor orbs on that one, too. Wait, how many power cells did I just grabbed? I, mean, I grabbed two, but I mean overall in this episode, I think six? Yeah, I think I grabbed six. Huh. So whoever bet at five or lower, you guys gotta pay up now. Which includes me, since I just realized that I bet it that I'll get five. Smooth move, Mac-10. Way to go. Okay, now to go for these guys here. Pretty obvious, but don't just go up against the spike balls because you will get take damage for it okay that's two I know there are a few over here on this side from the looks of things I might have to get back on here on the dock okay grab that guy and then I'll grab 
this guy over here. Perfect. And there's that one guy right over there. I think he might be the last one. I just got to wait for him to come back down. We're on the, not in the same latitude. Okay, good. Now he's back down, and then we'll finish him off. Oh, uh, apparently I missed one. My bad, people. What is exactly is the point of those balloons, exactly? I mean, I don't... What exactly... Why do they need that? Well, what's the point? I, I'm confused at this. I really am. But screw it. I'll just take the power cell and pretend it... You know, and pretend that I don't... Uh, and pretend that, you know, it's... <laughs> Let me start all over. I'll take the power cell, and then I'll go ahead and pretend that I didn't try to question this. I talk too fast for my own good. That's the same. That's my own fault there. <sighs> Sometimes I have to slow down when talking. That's the same. Uh, you're gonna say something? Oh, that's why they're there. Boy, I feel like a complete dumbass. <sighs> okay, so let me check something real fast here. Let me pass this. Oh, I'm missing free. I'm missing free precursor orbs. Okay, then. Of course, I'm missing free precursor orbs. Always got to be somewhere is right underneath your nose. All right, let me think real fast here. Where would those last three precursor orbs be? Did I grab them? Hmm. I think they might be in a set because they're free of them. I think they might be lined up. Let me check. All right, everyone, I'm back. So while I was looking around for the precursor orbs earlier, I neglected to go through here because I can see there's free precursor orbs right here. Uh, okay, I'll admit it. This episode. I've made some pretty stupid mistakes, but I made up for those stupid mistakes, okay? I may have died a few times, and including that one right there that I should have known better. But at least I got all that I need from Misty Island, so I have no reason to come back over here. So I'm leaving. I got nothing left to do here. Let's go back over to the home. I think I have enough precursor orbs. Oh my god, really? Oh my god. Uh, no. Oh, damn it! How many times have I died already? God, I lost count. Shit. No, no. Okay, good. Ugh. Note to self, don't ever try to engage the big guys when you're... In closed spaces like these, right here. Otherwise, you will pay. Can I, uh, okay, let me just go up here. No, no, apparently the game wants me to. Jeez, these guys are irritating the shit out of me right now. And the sad fact is, it's mostly my fault because I should have known by now how to handle these guys. Okay, now the boat isn't far from here. I'm not even in the mood to deal with you. Uh, unfortunately, I might have to go your way. So the boat is right here. Wait, where is that boat? Oh, there's the boat. Okay, good. All right, let's just go back home. Cause I'm, I'm already tired of this place. Bye, bye, Misty Island. And may you rot, because I am done with you, finally. <sighs> I wonder, is it going to be nighttime or daytime? I think it's going to be nighttime. I see the lights on and such. Hello, home sweet home. Okay, everyone, I think it's now time to end this episode here right now. Here's to hoping I don't die stupid anymore throughout this whole let's play. Sad fact is, there's a good chance I probably will. But anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and be safe till next time.
Hey everyone, I'm back to bring you guys a brand new episode installment of Jack and Dexter, the Precursor Lexi, and it's going to be brought to you guys by GameAnyone.com. Well, there's Jack and Dexter's home, and here we are at Misty Island. Yeah, if you looked at the last episode, I went and did Sentinel Beach, and I also got ahead and did that little fisherman's, well I wouldn't say little, I mean, guy's a big motherfucker. Get him! Hurry, get him! Yeah, grab get him. him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Murder him now! 